And we will get started with the news. Boop, 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 boop. Konami says, all your face are blown to us. Konami has stated that <laughs> all the reports, this is so funny, all the reports of Hideo Kojima leaving are false. This was on Engadget.com, a.k.a. Joystick. Apparently, I mean, news is, it was like a bunch of stories hitting yesterday. I didn't report on it. But everybody was like, Hideo Kojima's leaving Konami after 29 years, blah, blah, blah. And they had pictures of his going away party and all this stuff. Konami's like, he ain't going nowhere. He's, 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 he's still on the payroll. He's not, he hasn't left. He's, he's just, he's going on vacation. He is not leaving. He is going on vacation. I, I don't know. They responded to articles saying that currently Kojima is listed as a company employee. We're not sure what kind of thing was this was talking about the party. Um, <laughs> the spokesperson said. I, I I don't know. So apparently he's taking an extended vacation. Uh, and uh, I don't know what else to say about it other than what's going on at, at, at Konami. Because I mean, I, we, we it's been a lot of ups and downs over there. They 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 want to disown him, then they love him, then they disown him, then they love him. He left, and it's like he's not gone. Is this is this denial? Is this some form of denial that's going on? It's like, no, he's, he's actually, he's not gone. Let's see, he's still on, he's still on the payroll. Hideo Kojima's not gone. There he is right there standing behind you. Hi, Hideo. Hi. See him? He's right there. Working on the next Metal Gear Solid. As he's always been. Straight jacket. I don't know what's going on, man. It's weird. It's just really weird. He, the man's gone. I, I don't know why they won't accept it. Check it out. Konami. Konami's in denial. They're in denial. They need to do the. They need to do the country code. Get some more lives, cause the man's gone. So. Yeah. Next story. Microsoft. Edge browser extensions delayed oh one of the one of the, the one of the things i was impressed by with windows 10 was the the edge browser um and i found a gaping hole in it because i was using it for like half a day after i got windows 10 i was like man this is pretty fast look, look this thing is zippy i can load up DuckDuckGo.com in 0.1 seconds instead of 0.15 seconds. This is amazingly fast. Wow, look at that JavaScript go. Oh, yeah. Feel it in your bones. Look at it go. So I was using it, and I was like, man, if this would be, like, really, really tasty and delicious if we, you could, like, sprinkle a little of extensions on top. And it's not there yet. So we're like, okay, we got a coming soon message from uh from microsoft like hey we're not gonna have it now but it's coming soon sadly it's been delayed uh they said they need a little bit more time uh they need more time to develop extension support for edge so we won't see it until 2016. and i gotta say it, it, it like it felt maybe that's because it maybe it felt so lean because it didn't have extensions <laughs> i don't know but the browser feels good. It feels like a good browser. It feels better than IE, that's for sure. Um, and IE, IE 10 and IE 11 weren't terrible browsers. It's just the other browsers surpassed them in other areas. But Edge feels good. But it doesn't have extension support. And I think a majority of us who are serious browsers have at least one or two extensions that we rely on. Or, or plugins, if you will. So it's... I can wait, but I really want another competitor because Firefox is ticking me off. 
Firefox is really getting on my nerves. Um, I remember the very early days of Mozilla, how I was really rooting for that browser, and I saw it progress into Firefox, and I saw it progress and get better and better. And then it's just like, I don't know. It's like an athlete who has a who who hurts his leg or breaks his leg or hurts his knee. And he goes into rehab, and then he comes back. But he just ain't the same. He ain't got the zip no more. He he can't run as fast anymore. He can't he can't throw as far anymore. It's it's something's off. The team chemistry is not quite there. It's, I don't know. We're gonna have to let you go. We're gonna bring in a new talent called Chrome. <laughs> Hi, Chrome. That's what happened. Um, this is Firefox just fell off, man. It's like it got injured and it didn't recover. It's trying to recover. It's like in the minor leagues now. It's on, it's on junior varsity. Doing things. They're watching film. They'll help. They're, you know, they're, they train with the, the major leagues. That's way too many sports references for one new show. So we're just going to end it right there. What are we talking about? Oh, the Edge Browser. Edge Browser Ascension is coming 2016. We got to wait. Check it out. We got details. Now, for our final story, it happened. You were there. Where were you when it happened? I was here. Oh, the Star Wars trailer. The entire world, except the people that hate Star Wars, watched in great anticipation and were amazed but the numbers are telling 9.6 this was the overnight ratings from nielsen from espn's monday night football where the trailer debuted meaning roughly 10 million households were watching the game live or on their dvrs immediately after that's a 13 percent increase from last week 14.6 million. That's the number of views that the trailer has on YouTube as of 4 p.m. today. At least 3 million of those views came during the day in the U.S. You guys weren't working, were you? <laughs> 8.9 million. That's the number of views on the Facebook page. A thousand. The number of screenings the movies already completely sold out. AMC's website in less than 12 hours. Eight times, Fandango had a jaw drop at night. The online ticketing service hasn't revealed actual numbers yet, but it sold more than eight times the number of tickets Did it did for his previous first day record set by the Hunger Games in 2012. They surpassed it by eight times already. And we just get started. 40, the number of servers, the Alamo, Alamo Draft House, the smallest size Texas-based theater chain, had running simultaneously to try to cope with the Force Awakens demand. But it wasn't enough. They had a database error. Things were bad. $2,000. The price of some tickets are already being offered on eBay. 58. The number of days until The Force Awakens hits theaters. Brace yourselves. Star Wars is coming. Look at that, guys. Over on Mashable. They got the details. The hype has hit critical mass. It is getting redunkerous. It has reached proportions of epic magnitude. And that's the news. Mm -hmm. All right.